Hello and welcome to Miller Realty Group's Talk of the Town, Carolinas. I'm your host, Patty Mercer. If you're thinking about buying or selling a home, remember to call Carmen or simply visit carolinahomesearch.com. You can check out lots of beautiful properties there and see more about the Carolinas. With us today, we have Danielle Redmond. She's the founder of the Historic Paradise Foundation. What's that all about? Well, we're going to find out today. Come on. So what is the Historic Paradise Foundation? So the Historic Paradise Foundation is a, a nonprofit, five, uh, IRS recognized 501c3, whose mission is to basically um, proactively protect and preserve the people and property of paradise. And so we have a community center now, thanks to uh, Mount Zion Church of God, they uh, provided a, fil a facility sharing agreement with us so that we can conduct our center and, and activities here. And um, so we're grateful for that because we don't want anyone to have to leave the community to get the services they need. As you have um, made this real yes. in terms of all of the paperwork to be a 501c3 yes. and created your mission and your mm -hmm. vision, what has been the response from the community within the community, yes. the people outside the community, and partnering with corporations. Okay, well, for one, when thinking about the vision and the mission, the vision is basically about revitalizing the community and making it sustainable so that people can have, uh, they can be more self-sufficient in the long term. And so part of that is, is education. And so we want to be, we want to use what we know and who we know to create a hub where people can come because trust has also been another factor and there is a trust deficit so who better than someone from the community who you know that I'm gonna be that mother bear or the mother hen depending on the role I need to play I'll be that because I know I know the the strong values and traditions that we were brought up with and I want those to continue uh, recently Duke Energy uh, presented you with a grant yes for what, $5,000? $5, yes. What will that money be used for? So we're gonna provide training classes which will um, use 21st century technology. So we have here a print station, print stations that we're setting up. We provided 30 Chromebooks um, from a grant from Wells Fargo. We're gonna have people push in, leaders, um, people from companies and so on who can come and train around health, health around technology, around um, recidivism and reducing that mm -hmm. for those who, who really need to learn a trade so that they don't feel like they're, they have to result to such primal measures, you know. So we're, we're gonna bring in those, those uh, experts to push in every, every week as well as the tutoring sessions we're gonna provide in the afternoon. Everyone gets a meal, even having some mental health counselors, having some, uh, I, sp I spoke with the director of Keystone, mm -hmm. and that's another partnership that we can have, Habitat for Humanity. And for those who are more vulnerable, even if they can't, don't wanna go too far, we can bring them here and we can have the experts displayed here with the computer so that they can interact with them because they may lack the computer and technology at home. We received a grant from Corporium, so now we have computer access, I mean, uh, internet access for a year, um, thanks to Corporium, so. And do you also have something through the Greenway? Yes, the Greenway has been so phenomenal. The Greenway is providing, um, they provided guest passes, and they're also providing scholarships for students to attend the Greenway program um, as far as having support for the academics. Um, we're gonna have certified teachers here, as well as some high schoolers who will help tutor you know, when on their available days. So many opportunities. Yes. I can just see the wheels turning <laughs> of uh, things that you want to accomplish yes. for all ages, yes. no matter what your age. Where is the best place to, you know, find out what's happening, how to get involved, and of course, uh, need be, make a contribution? Well, the best place is Facebook. We are super active on there, and we can update it faster than the website. But either way, you can still reach us at, at facebook.com slash HPF 2975, so HPF or Historic Paradise Foundation 29715. Also, we have the website that um, we've, we're trying to get more active with, but it's, you know, it's a bit more when you're 
doing it. So if we had some webmasters who want to donate services. We have uh, our domain is um, for fmhpf.org. So we would love to have those services as well <laughs> if, if they're offering. Um, but that's one of the main ways they can text us um, or call 803-455-2299. But another thing is we're having a barbecue on August 29th and we want all parents and children to come and sign up for the different leadership programs, the different tutoring programs, the Greenway. Um, we have so many um, Girl Scouts who they want, they want to connect and they want to share um, in, in the teachings and learnings with the youth and, and they want to provide that, uh, that access for parents as well. So we want everyone to come from one to three. Here we're going to spread out, have tables, sign up, get some nice hot dogs and hamburgers and, and cool drinks and, yeah. um, and make a great day. Fantastic. You know, so we'll be kicking off the school year with, um, with that big celebration. I love it. Well, that's it for this edition of Miller Realty Group's Talk of the Town Carolinas. If you're thinking of buying or selling your home, just call Carmen or visit carolinahomesearch.com and check out lots of beautiful properties right here in the Carolinas. And while you're there, you can see past episodes of Talk of the Town Carolinas. Until next time, I'm Patty Mercer. Bye-bye. <music>